15th of March. Then the Lord said to Maha Moggallana, Are you drowsy Moggallana? Are you drowsy? Yes, Lord. Well, then whenever the thought of laziness befalls you, pay no attention to that thought. Do not dwell on it. Doing this, it is possible that it will pass. But if by so doing, that laziness does not pass, then you should think and reflect in your mind about the Dhamma. Review it in your mind as you have heard it and learned it. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, the laziness does not pass, then you should recite the Dhamma in detail as you have heard it and learned it. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, that laziness does not pass, then you should pull your ears and rub your limbs with palms of your hands. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, the laziness does not pass, then get up from your seat and having splashed water on your face, look all directions and gaze upwards into the starry sky. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, it does not pass, then you should firmly establish the inner perception of light as by day, so by night, as by night, so by day. Thus, with a mind that is clear and unobstructed, you should develop a radiant consciousness. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, it still does not pass, then aware of what is in front of you and behind you, walk up and down with your senses turned inwards and your mind not strained without. Doing this, it is possible that the laziness will pass. But if by so doing, it still does not pass, then lie down on your right side in the lion posture with one foot on the other, mindful and clearly conscious, with the thought of rising later. After waking, you should get straight up thinking, I will not indulge in the enjoyment of lying down, reclining and sleeping. Train yourself like this.